Emory River State will move on next to Ibadan, the Oyo State capital, where 30 civil society organizations have completed specialized training on non-profit regulatory compliance. The two-day training was organized with support from the United or European Union delegation to Nigeria and ECOWAS. Facilitator Edosa Oviawe explained that the aim was to ensure the CSOs have a better understanding of the regulatory framework governing Nigeria's non-profit sector. Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Professor Adekunle Adedeji, emphasized the importance of understanding corporate affairs issues related to the types of organizations involved, compliance requirements, annual reporting and qualification and disqualification for directors and trustees. We want to achieve is to see that the CSOs have a better understanding of, of uh, the regulatory requirements and to see that they are they are complying uh, statutorily and so they don't have uh, any uh, clamp down inhibitions to, to the wonderful work they are doing across the state. We've made case for the multiplicity of, of regulatory requirements for non-profit sector which is actually overbearing on the sector and uh, it's good to know that even the regulators are beginning to see uh, the need for some of this uh, uh, this multiplicity to be harmonized to ensure uh, to ensure easy easy uh, easy reporting and to ensure that the work that the CSO are do are not unduly um, impaired by too much regulation. So the business environment is actually interconnected. I you want to you want to tender for a contract. There are certain contracts that can only be tendered for by corporate organizations, by organizations with corporate personality. And once you tender for it, you get paid, there are tax obligations. So you cannot say this, this regulatory bodies will operate in silos. They have to interconnect and talk to each other. And one, where, where one regulation stops, the other begins. So there is that complementarity. Where there is uh, ambiguity or uh, over exposure by, uh, to of NGOs, then we talk about it. You mentioned the usual multiplicity, you know, of um, 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 reports, regulations. Um, for instance, you already have your registration with CAC at the state level. Depending on your thematic focus, for instance, you're with health, you're with education, you're with children or women, you still have to register with them. And a lot of these things on an annual basis. So we're looking also, why don't we have some kind of arrangement where the government sits down with civil society organizations and we can reach an agreement on the way to make these things work better? Because at the end of the day, what the civil society organizations are doing is to complement the effort of government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.